All right, folks, we're going to do one more video tonight. Then we got on the roll crimp situation. Here's three brand more brand new Shadite three inch hulls. For this load, we're still using 28 and a half grains of long shot. These are from Precision Reloading. These are called the TUPRW 12s. They're a two and three quarter inch, just like a uh, TPS wad, clear. But they're a little more thicker and beefier. But these are three of my favorite loads. If you load these three loads, you can't go wrong, guys. Just remember these three. If you get this reloader's uh, network, uh, quad pin, and load these three loads, this will cover probably the top three loads that everybody loves. All three of them are using 28 and a half grains of long shot powder. Then you're taking this TUPR 12 wad, drop it down in there. Now, after you do that, you need some of these eighth inch 20 gauge nitro carbs. They're just a little eighth inch thick 20 gauge nitro carb. You drop it in the center because the bottom of this thing is concave. This makes it flat in the bottom. Then you don't have, you have a flat bottom instead of concave bottom. All right, let's do the one of them that all my buddies seem to love, the 21 pellet number one. We're using 29 caliber pellets. I don't know if you can see them good, but they're 29 cal, not 30, because that's, True 30 cal, you ain't getting but 18 of them in there, but you can do the same thing. They'll stack in there in rows of three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, them two stuck together, 20 and 21. And then you do that. You dump them all over the place, so you gotta start all over again and make the video real long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. 21 pellets of 29 caliber. Now you can see my pellets are red, guys, and there's a there's a purpose for that. It, well, it looks cool, cool as a Dickens too, but I know my 29 cal pellets are red. Then if it's a 29 cal 21 pellet load, I put a red bingo chip in there. That's one, that's one reason you always see me with different color bingo chips. All right. You dump buffer powder in there, guys, just like you did on the triple out in the previous video. You tamp it down, get it around all the pellets. You're, what you're doing is keeping them pellets from deforming when the gun shoot upon firing. All right, guys, you can see that. Actually, just need a hair bit more. Whoops, might have put a tad bit too much, but it'll tamp down. 21 pellets. My red bingo chip is thrown on top of it, guys. Roll crimp it on down. Check that out, folks. 21 pellet, three inch, number one buckshot. Roll crimp. All right. Well, you can't tell me they didn't get much cooler looking than that right there. That's an easy one. Once again, 28 and a half grains of long shot. Another TUPRW 12 wad. Another eighth inch 20 gauge nitro card. Like I said, that's just to help, that's just to keep you from blowing the seal out. All right, this one we will do a uh, 
16 pellet. This is my this is my absolute favorite load. If everybody wants to know what my favorite load is, this is it. 16 pellets of 31 cal. And as you can see, they're purple. So we're going with 16 pellets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 16 pellets, guys. 31 cal. This is my this is my absolute favorite load. I love 32 cal double alt, but this one to me is just my favorite. If they it patterns best in my new gun anyway. Let me let me replace it that way. Some of my other guns, my 14 pellet double alt load is superior in so i guess i should really say it depends on which gun i'm hunting with for today but there they are 14 16 pellets i mean of 31 cal single off bug shot all right the pellets were purple so guess what purple bingo chip set it down on top of it come over to the four pin roll crimp Bingo! 16 pellet, 31 cal, single lock buckshot. 29 cal, 31 cal. Alright, the next one, I'm sure y'all can figure out what it's leading up to. And it's gonna be probably one of the most popular because it shoots good, it, it simply shoots good in everybody's gun. And that's going to be the uh, 31 cal, I mean 32 cal double alt. 32 cal double alt is by far the most forgiving in most people's shotguns. It just shoots incredible in them. It shoots great in mine too, but my gun absolutely loves 31 cal. Once again, 28 and a half long shot. TUPRW 12 wide. The reason I'm using that is a lot of times the three inch full length wads, you still end up having to trim them because the roll crimp won't come all the way down and they won't feed in some guy's guns. There you go, guys. There's, there's a, another one ready to load up. Now, my 32 cal, as you can see, is green. It's 14 pellets of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. 14 pellets of 32 cal. Comes up right there at the top of the wad. Once again, you cover up the buffer powder, guys. Just tamp down on it real easy and you'll just watch the powder drop down there below all the pellets. All right, green pellets, green overshot car, guys. Now you know the reason why I have all them different overshot cars. Once again, Come on over here. Roll it on down, guys. Those are my three top performers that guys are always wanting to know how you load them. Well, there they are, guys. 29 cal number one. 31 cal single on. 32 cal double on. All of them will easily get the job done and they're a great pattern and rounds. Need a roll crimp tool. Reloaders Network, like I said, quad pin. You can get your dite, it doesn't really matter. Fiochi, um, Rio, any of them that you can get. The only difference is if you get Fiochi in the green and it's got what they call the Magnum primer, guys, you have to drop your powder charge. Like I'm using 28 and a half, 
you have to basically drop five to ten percent. Usually, I just drop one grain. Wade Rush, he does the same thing. Drops one grain, and then you're good to go. Because if it's a Magnum primer, it's a hotter load. You don't want to shoot higher powder charges because of pressure. But like I said, guys.